टूडे वी विल सी हाउ टू क्रिएट अ मास्टर पेज सो बेसिकली मास्टर पेज का क्या यूज होता है कि जब भी हमें सेम ले आउट थ्रू आउट द वेब पेजेस चाहिए देन वी कैन क्रिएट अ मास्टर पेज उसकी वजह से जो भी डिजाइन हम क्रिएट करते हैं जो भी ले आउट क्रिएट करते हैं देट ले आउट विल बी सेम थ्रू आउट द वेबसाइट सो फर्स्ट वी आर क्रिएटिंग वन एम टी वेबसाइट नाउ इन द रूट डिरेक्टरी वी आर एडिंग वन आइटम विद द नेम मास्टर पेज यू कैन सी ओवर हियर द मास्टर पेज विल हैव द एक्सटेंशन डॉट मास्टर वी आर एडिंग दैट in the design view you can see here there is one content place holder so simply click on this delete now we are creating one table so insert table you can add multiple rows over here and two columns so the first row will be about the header information related to the website for that we are modify cells and merge cell in the second row we are going to put one navigation control so that we can navigate from one web page to the other page and in the last row we are putting one footer information so again we are merge cell now in the first row we are using one heading tag with align center and we are providing some information like shopping website same way in the footer we are using one of the heading information align will be center copyright save this file here in the content section we are placing one content place holder so you can add one content place holder over here now before creating various pages first we are creating a sitemap file so sitemap file will be used to link multiple web pages and it is used in the navigation controls so right click on the root directory add new item here you can see the sitemap file is there you can also rename the file it will have the extension dot sitemap click on add button in the url first we are having home page we can specify any title over here the second page will be category its related title third one will be about us the next one will be contact title will be contact us another two uh, uh, url we are taking is registration and login so we are writing register dot aspx title will be register and the last one we are creating the node structure for the login and title will be log save this file now in the master page we are importing the sitemap file 
for that we are taking one navigation control here we are taking menu control so simply drag and drop the control from the select data source we are selecting new data source we are selecting sitemap file click on ok and from the data source here the starting node show starting node property will be set to true we are setting it as a false you can see over here whatever the data items we have put on the sitemap path that will be displayed over here now we are creating one by one each and every web pages related to the sitemap file so first web page just we are putting some design over here In the footer also we are providing some background color. We are having the same color. And in the navigation control we are having one more color like you can select any color. will not display properly the contents we are not adding any color over here now we are creating one by one the web pages so add new item the first web form will be home do not forget to select the master page so click on select master page add here you have to select the master page and ok you can see whatever our design was there in a master page that we can see over here so simply we are having one line or the content that will be displayed in the content page this is home page save this file we are adding one more web form with the name about and in the content placeholder this is about us page Save the file. One more file will be about category. You can select the master page. In the content placeholder, this is category page. The next page we are adding is contact us page. So the name of web page will be contact, select master page, add, click on add and in the content placeholder, this is contact us page. For the registration page, we are adding one new item with the name register. Now in the content placeholder, we are placing one label for the name. We are having one text box over here. 
for entering name one more label for last name its related text box and one more label for password for the login purpose we are taking one text box over here we have to set one property text mode will be password in last we are taking one button so that will be the submit button or you can say register button now on click of register we can navigate to the login page so now we are adding one more page name of the page will be login select master page in the content placeholder again we are taking one label for the username and password username one text box another label will be for password and its related text box one submit button name of the button will be login now on click of login we will be redirected to the home page again so in the register page double click on the button we are simply write response dot redirect and name of the file login dot aspx. In the login page, double click on the login button. Here we are writing response dot redirect home dot aspx. now we cannot run master page so we are setting home page as a start page and we are displaying home page in the browser so you can see here this is the home page if we click on category it will display category page if we click on about us it will display about page for the contact us it will display contact page if we click on register we can enter any name like user user password click on register so it will be redirected to the login page now in the login page we can enter username and password click on login so you can see we can redirect it to the home page again. Even if we click on the login page, it will display the login page. So this was the concept of master page.